Number nine, what is the density of 18 karat gold that is a mixture of 18 parts gold, five parts silver, and one part copper? These values are parts by mass, not volume. Okay, so uh, we also need to know, in addition to this problem, we, we in, meaning in addition to the given information, we need to know the densities of each gold, silver, and copper, all right? So now, I'm also going to make one other assumption. That doesn't tell us the overall mass of this thing, but I'm going to assume a particular mass, all right? By making this assumption, it'll make the problem, I believe, a lot easier. So let's assume that this, this figure all right, of 18 karat gold right here. This is this is the 18 karat, right? 18 karat gold. Let's pretend this thing weighs 24 uh, grams, all right? So why did I choose this number? Well, two reasons. I chose the grams because all of my densities are in grams. I chose the number 24 because they told me the parts of each, okay? Meaning it's one part gold, five parts copper, uh, excuse me, five parts silver and one part copper. So what that means to me is I can, if you add those together, 18 plus five plus one, you get 24. So if I assume I have a 24 gram sample, that means 18 parts of this 24 grams is going to be 18 grams of gold. Five grams of silver. And one gram of copper, all right? Uh, the reason why is because when you look at the parts in total, if you divide 18 by 24, you'll get the percentage, then you can multiply that percentage by 24, and it's magical that it comes back to be the same uh, part now just in gram, okay? So these are gonna be the values I'm going to be working with, okay? Now, let's set up the formula for the overall density or the average density, right, of a sample should be equal to the total mass of the sample divided by the total volume of that sample. Now, the total mass of this particular sample is a mixture, right, or is a combination of masses of gold, silver, and copper. So therefore, I'm going to write this. I'm going to write the mass of gold plus the mass of silver plus the mass of copper. And that's all going to be the, divided by then the individual volumes of each of them, okay? So this will be the volume of uh, gold plus the volume of silver plus the volume of copper. Okay, now we know these pieces, right? We know the gold is 18 grams, silver is 5 grams, copper is 1 gram, but we don't know the volume. But remember, we do know the densities of each. And therefore, if I, if I know the, let me put this in black, if I know the density of gold, right, right up here, that means I can find the volume of gold, right, just by doing a cross multiplication, meaning that the volume of gold is equal to the mass of gold divided by the density of gold. Now, you know this mass unit, right, because of our assumption. It's 18 grams. And you also know this density because that was given. All right, it has to be looked up in a table. You got to know it. So I do, I am able to find the, the volume of gold, all right? So notice what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna take this now and plug it in for the volume of gold in the denominator. So let's do now, the density will be equal to the mass of gold plus the mass of silver plus the mass of copper, all divided now by, and let me actually just move this up a little bit just so I can just squeeze everything down there. So now this is going to be, Substituting in for the volume of gold, I'm going to now put the mass of gold over the density of gold. Then similar, similarly, I'm going to make the following uh, also substitution. So now this will be the mass of silver over the density of silver, all right? plus now the mass of copper over the density of copper. And now we know everything we need to know. This is the basic formula. All right. So let's just now plug everything into here. Let me just move this. Whoa, 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 whoa. Sorry, let me just plug this all in. Just move it over to the side. So now we're just gonna throw in the values, okay? So here, the overall density now will be equal to the mass of gold, which we said is 18, plus the mass of silver, which was five, plus the mass of copper, which is one, all divided by now, 18 over my gold density, which was 19.32, plus then five over uh, 10.1. Right, let me make that a little neater. 10.1 plus then 1 over 
8.8. And let's see what we get now when we calculate this. All right. Okay, so 18, well, obviously the numerator is 24, right? We said that before. So now it's going to be 24 divided by 18 divided by 19.32 plus 5 divided by 10.1 plus 1 divided by 8.8. .8. And lo and behold, we get a density now. So the density value is about 15 point, rounding it off, 6. right? And that is in grams per cubic centimeter because those were the units I used, all right? So if you notice, right, I I didn't, I just did this work up here to make the problem make a little more sense because it's hard to conceptualize what the parts mean. But looking at the overall formula, all I had to do was add each part and then take each part and divide it by its associated density, and that's it, all right? So guys, hopefully this helped. Please remember to subscribe and hit that like button if this video helps. I look forward to helping you on the next problem. Take care.